Safeguards could mean to prevent holdups. Safeguards could mean to protect them from external and internal thefts. Safeguards could also mean to make sure that you don't get in trouble. First of all, if you're going to be worried about holdups, you should make sure there's a clear vision outside to inside of the pharmacy. I had myself, I've been held up 18 times. I've been shot in a holdup. So I've been through this quite a bit over the years. So you make sure people can pass by and see into the pharmacy. Keep track of what you have on hand. You may not be able to do a perpetual inventory, but have a general idea of the hot items, the oxys, the alprazolams, the Percocets. Keep an idea, and with today's technology and computers, you can measure how much was given, how much was purchased, and you could see generally if there's any leaks in the system. Okay. The other thing is you have to maintain good records in case the DEA comes in. And they, they may be looking up in the doctor and they may ask you for your biannual inventory. Oops, I never did it. You're opening the door for problems, so you have to keep good records. Basic thing I've found pharmacists don't always do, the Combat Methamphetamine and, uh, Epidemic Act. You have an annual renewal of that certificate every year, and it doesn't cost you anything. That's one thing the government gives you for free is a free license to dispense pseudoephedrine products, but you got to renew it every year. That has to be done. If you don't have that certificate on the wall, it's only a $10,000 violation. If you don't have the DE number on every prescription, it's only $10,000 per prescription, and those dollars add up. So those are some of the basics.